What's going on guys? This is Calvin over at Discount Computer Depot. Uh, in this video we're going to be reseating the RAM in an HP DC 5700. Uh, you may find that when you first receive your computer uh, and you plug everything in, you're getting all excited and all of a sudden you see when you turn the machine on, you get nothing but beeps. You're not going to get a display on the screen and you're going to be very distraught. It's okay. We can fix this. Generally what happens is during shipment of a computer, the computer can get jostled around and one of the components inside the machine can get slightly unseated. So in order to fix this, we have to open the case and reseat the RAM. So the first thing we want to do is unplug the power. We're going to want to lay the computer down flat. And on these HP towers, there's actually a screw on the back that we're going to want to unscrew. We put our hands on the top of the machine. I like to put my thumbs on the back, apply pressure, and you just slide it back and it comes right off. Inside the machine, the RAM on this is going to be located in between this big silver box is the power supply, and then up here in the front, the DVD drive, it's going to be right in the middle. There's going to either be two or four of these RAM chips, and they're going to look just like this. All right, they're about five and a half inches long. For the most part, they're green. Sometimes they'll be blue or some other color, but for the most part, they're green. Now, on the sides of those chips, there are going to be white and black tabs. What you want to do is push down on these tabs. And what that's going to end up doing is it's going to unjostle that RAM, uh, and then we're going to want to push back down. So that's basically just completely, you know, reseating it, making sure that it has that secure connection. So once we push down on those tabs, I'll take both of my thumbs. I'll have to stand up because you do have to apply a little bit of pressure. And then you'll hear both of those tabs snapping back shut. It makes a clicking noise. So you do that for all the sticks that are in there. All right, make sure you have a good connection. This is when we want to test it out. Before putting the case back on, we want to plug the power in to make sure that we are good to go. So we just got to find the power button, which is right here. Sounds good. And we have a display, so we are good to go. Um, so now at this point, you can go ahead and put the case back on. Screw it back in and go about your merry way. That was reseeding RAM. Thank you very much.